sour beers are quite the art form that can take years to make. But not all sour beers. Today I am going to brew a Berliner Weiss and I'm going to make it using a kettle souring method and this beer should be ready to drink in just a few weeks. Let's go! Thank you for joining me. My name is Martin Keane. I'm taking the homebrew challenge to brew 99 beers in 99 weeks and I have reached the sours category, a category that I am looking forward to brewing uh, just with a little bit of trepidation because I've never made a, a sour beer before. But this one is like a really good one to start with because it's ready quickly and it's also relatively simple if you use a kettle souring method. So let's talk a little bit about this beer. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about the, the water chemistry. Um, what I've got here is some water salts. These are stuff that I add for every beer, not just for sour beers, just to make sure that my pH is right so that we get proper conversion. What I'm adding here is two grams of gypsum and epsom salt and three grams of calcium chloride. Now I want to make sure that these are actually dissolved in the liquid, so the way that I've been doing that recently is to, well, seal a sample of the hot water and give it a good shake in this. Also going to be adding some lactic acid. I'm going to add three milliliters of lactic acid to get down to a pH of, I'm hoping, about 5.3 for the mash. Now time to add in the grist. Hmm. I'm brewing a, a three gallon batch, but even considering that, there's not a lot of grain here. That's because this is a pretty low gravity beer. And I'll be mashing this one at 150 Fahrenheit or 66 Celsius. And because I've got some wheat malt in here, I am going to add just a touch of rice hulls. Don't need to really measure these out. These are not going to contribute anything to the gravity of the beer, but they should ensure that we have a good clean flow through the mash. Nothing gets stuck and so forth. All right, let it mash. Now, I do enjoy my gadgets. I've just got the latest iPhone. This is the 12 Pro Max. It's got these really cool cameras on the back here, these three cameras. And uh, normally I just use my fancy mirrorless cameras. I have three GH5 cameras that I use for filming these videos. I thought I might just uh, throw in a little bit of iPhone footage this week and uh, tell me what you think. So what should we expect from a Berliner Weiss? Well, we're certainly going to get a bit of sourness, a bit of tartness, a bit of lactic or even citrusy sourness to this beer. And it's combined with a, a bready malt backbone and a really light and fluffy mouthfeel. In terms of gravity, this is a very low gravity beer. We're looking at an ABV between 2.8% and 3.8%. The ingredients are wonderfully simple. It's simply 50% German Pilsner malt and 50% pale wheat malt. And my beer is going to aim for an original gravity of 1030. Okay, I got to my pre-boil gravity of 1025. It took about 45 minutes. Uh, so now I'm gonna take out the grains and then I'm gonna bring this to a boil just for about 10 minutes. Okay. 
I've used my plate chiller to chill this work down to 95 Fahrenheit or 35 Celsius. I'm just going to take a quick measure now of the pH of this wort. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting that I've chilled it and I'm still like dipping stuff in here that hasn't been sanitized. Uh, you don't have to worry about sanitizing stuff with star sand at this stage because I'm going to boil this wort again later. So okay, here's my pH meter. So my pH meter is showing a reading of 5.5 as the current pH. As the beer sours, we're going to bring that down uh, a fair bit. But I'm actually going to get it started right now by using a little bit of lactic acid just to bring this pH down a little bit more. Now, if you want the quick and easy way of souring beer, um, you can just add lactic acid when the fermentation is complete and you sort of add it to taste. And uh, that's really like the, the shortcut for, for souring the beer. But I'm going to add here uh, one milliliter of lactic acid. and give that a stir and then take another reading. Okay, one milliliter brought that down to about 5.2. I wanna get closer to 4.5, so I'm gonna add a couple more milliliters in. I'm at 4.6, that is absolutely close enough. So now we'll move on to the souring part. Now I have what might look to the casual observer like a, a packet of Y yeast yeast, but no, this is actually a lactobacillus, which I am going to add in now into my wort. Okay, just give that a quick stir. Now lactobacillus works best warm and I'm going to keep this wort at 95 degrees. Fortunately for me the brewing system that I'm using makes that very easy. I can just set the temperature here and the heating element will cycle on and off to keep me at 95 degrees. So I'm going to pop the top on and the last thing I'm going to do is seal this port here because I don't want any oxygen getting in. Okay, and I shall leave this to sour for a day or so. We're now at three days later, and this has just been sat here at 95 degrees, and props to this claw hammer supply system because it has stayed at exactly 95 degrees, so it's been cycling the heating element on and off to keep the temperature steady. Uh, so now let's take a reading of the pH. And we are at 3.8, which is pretty much where I want this to be. So I am now going to call it and move on to the next stage, which is to boil this and then just do all the usual things you do when you're brewing a beer. So let's bring this to a boil. looks like we're approaching a boil now. So by boiling this wort a second time, I'm now putting to an end the kettle souring phase. So the beer is not going to continue to sour. Uh, it also means everything's gonna get sanitized, of course, because it's a boil. And it's my opportunity to add in some hops. Now, a Berliner Weiss is not by any stretch of the imagination a hoppy beer. Uh, this is going to have about eight IBU of bitterness, all of which are coming from this hop edition, which is Tetnang. And I'm adding this in at the start of my 15 minute boil. Okay, in they go. All right, word is in my Flex plus fermenter. Uh, ended up with an original gravity of 1027. I'm gonna add in my yeast. This is German ale yeast. And I'm uh, gonna put this in now. Given this is such a low gravity beer, I'm not gonna bother with my oxygen wand, especially as this is a full packet of yeast and only a three gallon batch. Uh, speaking of three gallon batches, 
Last time I brewed in this fermenter, the Thermowell was exposed above the level of the beer, so I only ended up with about two and a half gallons in this. Uh, now I'm at three gallons, the Thermowell is inside of the wort, which means I'll be able to use it to take a temperature reading. Okay, so I'm gonna throw in a tilt hydrometer so I can keep an eye on the gravity. And then the top here with my cooling coil, which will connect to the glycol chiller. All right, that is now a sealed unit. I'm going to ferment this one at 68 Fahrenheit or 20 Celsius. Are you ready to try my firstest ever sour beer? Firstest. Mm. Um, yes, actually, I am quite excited because I've recently been drinking a lot more sours and kind of getting the taste for them. Uh, so I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, me too. I cannot wait for this one. So uh, just appearance, it's wheat beer, it's cloudy. No question about that. Looks like a... Um, like a freshly squeezed lemonade or something. I think it looks like a summer shandy. A s no, <laughs> yeah, it does. It it's does. Very light and inviting looking. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's cloudy but very inviting mm -hmm. looking. That does look like it's going to be delicious. Okay, let's see what we get with the smell. It's very, very subtle, but there is definitely a citrusy or some sort of undernote there. Mm. Like, I really have to like, stick my nose in there to smell yeah. it. Yeah. I guess we'll find out how well the, uh, the souring went then. So if we make the sour face, is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> like, you know, like, like. Yeah, is this going to taste like sour candy or something? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Let's try. All right. <laughs> I think I'm making the sour face. Hmm. Not sour enough for you? Mm. Like the sour hits you to start with, but then it dissipates real quick. I can feel it on my tongue straight away as soon as you take a sip. It's definitely mouth-watering, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Are you up for a little experiment with this beer? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the way that you can sour this beer further is you can actually add lactic acid now, now the beer is finished, to taste to get it to the sourness you want. And you're saying it's not quite sour enough. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> yeah, so I think it's time that we, we crack out the lactic acid. Uh, okay. So I think we're going to want to add the tiniest, tiniest amount of lactic acid to this. Now, actually, every beer that you have tasted uh -huh. has some lactic acid in it. Um, I use it um, to balance the pH in the beers. I know this. You, you were adding this. lactic okay. acid into your beer, that's right. So we're just going to add a little bit. So I'm going to give this to you. You might add like a few milliliters to a whole keg, so you're definitely going to want to just put a drop in. Well, these things look quite difficult. Here, can I put on my spoon? Yeah, good idea. Okay, there we go. Good? Yep. Okay, here. All right. Wait, you're not doing it? All right, let's see how yours turns out. That's not fair. Okay, we've restored the head on the beer, so yeah. it's looking good. Okay. It smells the same. There's a little bit more soury, more of a pucker to it. Can I do some more? Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah. Okay, that might be a lot. Yeah, it's a lot more soury. That's good, though. Put, put something in your <laughs> you know, You know how like, you go to a coffee shop and they'll bring you a coffee and then maybe there's on the table there's cream and sugar? <laughs> just like, like, Do you think there, there are going to be breweries now and you just go to the table and there's like some <laughs> lactic acid in a syringe? Like, how about maybe. it? Maybe. <laughs> hmm. That's kind of cool though, because you can create your own like sourness of a beer. Oh, that's so much more sour now. Oh, that's really good. Oh yeah. yeah, wow. It gives me a bit more of a sort of a lemonade citrusy taste to it even. Yeah. That just gives it that little kick to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Well, we'd better do the, the cheers now while there's still some left, yeah. both both beer and lactic acid. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, this is this has been a, a fun experiment, I think. It has been. Yeah, all right, cheers. Cheers.